under the direction of Renee Porzel, Melodier's Chorus. We do have a, a very, very rich history. Our chorus has always been founded on um, high level um, music with a lot of focus and a lot of dedication to singing barbershop and a really great representation of what is barbershop and how to make it ring, which is what everybody's looking for. So we've always talked about positive uh, peer pressure, meaning we come for a reason. And um, it was always, this is, we're here to do this. We're here to have a lot of fun doing it. And we take great pride in being able to put a great product on stage. You know, being a smaller chorus now, I mean, this is for, for so many choruses that have gone through what we've gone through. There is a whole new pride and feeling of just feel good about where we are and who we are. about mom and the more we talked about it the music team was like well this is a great theme everyone has one so um and we were very thoughtful um because not everyone has great relationships with their mothers some people at the stage of uh, in life where they have already lost their mother recently lost their mother there's so many varieties and then we hit upon this idea that in sweet adeline's uh, many of us have found a bonus mom um, who's helped us become a barbershop singer. And it just sort of grew from there. The The opening song, Mom, is just a total blast. It's just an upbeat number. It's a Megan Trainer song. And as soon as we heard it, we knew it would be the opener and that the audience would be right there with us. We were just going to brag, brag on our moms. And then intentionally chose to go to the slow ballad. And... Um, the two MCs that we used before that song are our mother-daughter pair in the chorus. And um, it was wonderful to work with them and have them tell their story. sense it you know what I mean some people will say but I knew they were liking it and I knew when we got off stage the comments that were being said to us it's like okay and it was just so much fun to do uh, every, every bit of it we we dearly love a barbershop ballad and so that was just yeah. yummy to sing and then all the other stuff was so much fun so this and what we've always done is we we are at a at the core Classic barbershop. That's what we've always done. It's what we love to do. It's what we know the most about. And so we always pick our contest song first, or we always have. And this one came about as a suggestion from a member who thought it would be so great to take this really old song, old classic stock barbershop, and make it new for us. And many groups have tried it all through the years, all through the almost 80 years of Sweet Adeline history. And the idea appealed to us. Um, and Jim did an arrangement of it and we took it to regional and then we decided we really wanted to make it more uh, about us right now and we wanted to stretch our wings a little bit so we collaborated with um, Melody Hine and she um, embellished it she put some chords that are things that she loves and they were new kinds of chords for us to learn to sing and paired it with that wonderful mother of mine, which I believe is from 1916. So um, Jim had done the opening section and it was kind of a sleight of hand so that people didn't know that Pal of My Cradle Days was coming. And then um, Melody wrote this beautiful tag that combined Pal of My Cradle Days and that wonderful mother of mine. Um, it was, so it was, it was a wonderful journey to take that very, very old stock song and bring it to something that really moved us 
And also we got great reaction from the audience and the judges. And the next one was the really contemporary piece of the four song set. So that's an Alicia Keys song called Good Job. And Good Job for us was an anthem towards um, mothers and how hard they work and how much stress they are under, particularly in today's world. And we really wanted them to know that we see them, we hear them, and we support them. And we think they're doing a good job. One of the phrases in the song is know that you matter. And that really became an anthem for us internally and making sure that each of the 65 people on stage knew that they were part of this journey and that they were gonna create um, the experience for the audience. And I would say that learning the good job um, music was definitely a stretch. It was, a, a, I thought it was a difficult piece to learn because of the timing. It was something very different and yet just grew to love it as did everybody in the chorus. A a actually, I'm getting goosebumps as I talk about it because it's just beautiful. You know, you know what it's like to stand in a chorus and sing, and then hear some we're producing something very different from what we do. So it was uh, pretty exciting stuff. Because we already had it and it's a fantastic arrangement, we decided to do a parody about the entire mom experience. And it goes from pregnancy to becoming a grandma, which really relates to our audience, obviously. And uh, we had a blast. So I, I collaborated with six, I think it was six different people in the chorus. And I asked them to find momisms, mom quotes, tell stories about themselves as moms. And then I wrote the parody lyrics. The four who came out with the pregnant tummies at the beginning was a fairly late addition in the summer and it cracked us up. So we were very happy to hear the audience laugh. And then it, it just went from there. Working on comedy is um, something we love and have done a lot in our history. Uh, but this was a little bit different feel because we wanted everybody to really be able to hear the words. And that's the best thing people kept telling us that they could hear all the words. So when we went, because I said so. I paused because I didn't want the chorus to go right on because the laughter just went out over the whole arena. What, first of all, what I would add is we've always had a great time, you know, putting, learning the performance packages. There was something very different about this one. I think because it was so universal to everyone in the chorus. You're a mom, you're a grandma, you're an aunt, you're a bone, you're whatever. I mean, the laughter and the joy that we pretty and fun. And I'd have won a lot, but you never expect it. it could, the choruses are so good. And, you know, um, th the same. I mean, at the level, I believe, of Harmony Classic has really gone up. And I think what Renee had talked a lot about was we're going to go. We're going to enjoy this experience. We're going to put the best we can do on stage. And where we land is where we land. And we're still pr proud of us. And so, um, but then when they called her, when they called second place, it was like, oh my Lord, oh we my did. Lord, this is wonderful. Just yeah. wonderful. It, it was a very gratifying, very exciting um, for everybody that was there and part of the process. It was very surreal and I couldn't have been happier that it was Sue and I together. Our 2024 Harmony Classic Division AA Champion Chorus is Melodier's Chorus! I, I just hope I never forget the joy that was radiating off of them. They, they were so proud.